Today, I'm doing a video on some of my newest mecha. The Shogun and Shudo. These are both Japanese-style mecha. And, Mom, which one do you want to see first? I like the cherry blossom. It's called a Shudo. The Shudo is a archer. Well, archer and crossbower crossbow user. Shudo is a smaller, redesigned version of one of my previous mecha. I do not know if it's capable of standing on its own yet, so I've got a stand for it, just a basic stand. I added a cherry blossom tree to it, onto its shoulder, and then some cherries on the back of its arm and if you look at its hips it has two crossbows it also has a simple weapon a simple bladed weapon i forgot the name of that one but it's a i'm pretty sure japanese or chinese weapon But next is the Shogun, the one that I'm really excited to show. I built it a custom stand. Its stand is made out of a large tire and has a little function. If you look at the base, there's a small sp area that you can spin it. The Shogun is Japan is a Japanese soldier, well not soldier, more like a general. It leads troops to battle, which is exactly what this does. It it's a leader. The Shogun has a secret as well. If I remove it from its stand, so it has a um naginata that is the large, the long blade. Like I think it's called, it translates to sweeping sword. It's a long weapon that's kind of similar to a spear, but it looks kind of like a sword as well. And the shogun, if I can do it, can stand on its own, although it may not work on a blanket. Okay, so it can stand on its own, and it has another secret. If you look at the two banners on its back, these aren't just banners, they're wings. And then, it can also, for transport, fold these down, into legs, and it's four, got four legs. The Shogun is currently my favorite of my mecha, mainly because of its abilities to transform and very human-like posture. It's a very mobile and agile mecha, and if you look at its shoulder, it has a scratch mark on it. But the Shogun isn't my only mecha I'm going to show. I have the Rosebush. 
It's a tiny raptor like mecha. Move the camera closer and zoom in because. Oh, can't zoom in. The rose bush is a pack mecha. It's a rogue mecha. It's a rogue pack traveling mecha that will. <coughs> and as its as its name implies, it's a rose bush. The mecha has been overgrown by a rose bush. This is one of my favorite of the rogue mechas, mainly because of how pretty it is. Next is the hammerhead. Slightly larger rogue mecha. The hammerhead is a slightly larger rogue mecha that can actually shoot using its head, using the parts on its head. The rose bush can't because, as you can see, it has thorns growing out of its guns. This is the only of the only rogue mecha that can shoot currently. Its head is very flat, slightly rounded, but still pretty flat, and it has roots. It has a root growing off of its tail. Growing off, growing off of its leg. Next is the warthog, a much larger one. The warthog has barely any tail. You can see a small one right there, and is disguised similar to a bush on its on its back, while the front is more ready for combat. The front's guns have been grown over by two thorns that act to ram its target. So let's say this is sitting there, the hammerhead is sitting there. It rams it using those horns. The warthog was an interesting build, mainly because I had to find a bunch of repeating parts to make its neck. And then I had to make find some certain parts to make its legs, which are T-joints, and after this I have the largest of the rogue mecha, which I, it's huge. Compared to the warthog, the warthog is only around half its size, and the shogun Shogun is also pretty small compared to it. Gotta rearrange the camera to see them both. The Rex, or Terror Rex, I haven't made a full proper name for it, has a giant mouth and head with a three piece jaw. It's a very, it's a very aggressive mecha and will attack just about anything on site. It's also covered in plants. And then I have two other mecha. I have two other mecha to show, but quickly, it, the Terror Rex does have arms, although they aren't very mobile. It's these two little things on the sides, but they've been overgrown with plants, so they aren't very useful. So they mainly just fold to its side. These are jaws. The Terror Rex is basically a walking jungle. jungle. It has flowers berries or cherries or and plants all over it and even though it's a beautiful mecca it's still quite deadly if you look at it it also has a small fourth jaw bit under here that's a spike and that helps it grind up other mecca in fights then 
here. Here's one of the other mecha. This one is the barricade, except I re redesigned it into a larger bipedal mecha. It has a larger, it has a slightly larger arm shield, as well as a, instead of a built-in weapon, it has a underslung re removable weapon. The barricade is mainly meant for heavy defense in areas, or to make a wall to, at the front of the ranks. And the newest, well, one of the newest, the Hercules. The Hercules is, well, it was one of my favorite mechs due to its color scheme and design. It has two wings, wing-like things on its back that are meant to be thrusters. And it's just the generic soldier. High power, high attack, high damage, just not a lot of mobility. Even though it does have the wings, it's not a very fast mecha. It does have an assault rifle, so it's got that going for it. And a jump boost on the back of its legs. Those are the yellow things. The, I'm going to group all of the mecha up. I'm at least going to try grouping them all up. All on this thing. The biggest ones in the back and the smallest in the front. And that one doesn't have a stand. This thing's gonna take up so much space. I'm not even gonna fit it in. There it goes. There goes the Trudeau. Okay. Okay. We're all go over here. Rosebush down here, and then I'll just hold this one right here. Here are all my mecha I've got, other than the Eclipse and Equinox, but I already did a video on them. Bye! Please leave a like and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you next time.